how to view old versions of websites using Wayback Machine. So what is the Wayback Machine? The Wayback Machine is an online archive of the internet. It allows the user to go back in time and see what websites look like in the past by simply pasting in the URL or link in the search box provided by the Wayback Machine. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to the following URL address, which is https colon slash slash archive dot org slash web. Once you're here, you'll be on the Wayback Machine's homepage provided by the Internet Archive. As you can see at the very top here, it says explore more than 486 billion web pages saved over time. Here is the search box provided by the Wayback Machine and you just simply left click here once you've inputted to the website that you want to browse to browse its history. So the next thing you need to do now is open up another tab, which I have open here. Now this is what the present day's amazon.com's homepage currently looks like. However, I want to go back in time and see what Amazon.com's homepage looked like in the previous years of its existence. To do this, all we need to do is grab the URL of Amazon.com by just highlighting it and then right clicking on it and copying it. You do the same with the desired web pages URL that you want to see the previous versions of. Once you've done that, go back to the Wayback Machines tab here and then simply right click and paste in the URL of the web page that you just copied. Once you've done that, all you need to do is left click on browse history here on the right hand side of the search box. Once you've done that, you'll be taken to another web page here where the Wayback Machine will display all its internet archive for your link in question. For me, it's Amazon.com. As you can see, there are 744,000 824 save times between December 12th, 1998 and November 20th, 2020, which is quite an extensive amount of snapshots in just over a 20 year period. Below this, you can see a timeline here which extends from 1997 all the way to the year 2020. So as you can see by the black bars in this timeline here, 1998 is actually the first time the Wayback Machine provided by the Internet Archive has taken any snapshots of Amazon.com. And as you can see again by the black bars that there's only actually one black bar here in 1998 and several, if not hundreds and thousands in other years. So before I take you down further and explain what exactly this calendar situation is about, is that you pick a year for the website you just searched on the Wayback Machine and view the past version of said website. Now for me, I'm going to go with the year 2000 as it's quite early in the timeline and has quite a decent number of snapshots, as you can see by all the black bars covering the timeline of the year 2000. So all you need to do is left click on the timeline here on the year that you want to look at so I'm just going to left click here and it will be selected and highlighted in black and now we can just simply scroll down here to have a calendar style view from January all the way to December for all the snapshots taken in that particular year from month to month and on particular dates. Now as you can see by this timeline May, June and October were actually the most intensely snapshotted months in the year 2000. For today's video as it's just a demonstration I'm going to select a random month so today we're going to be going with June. Now as you can see in all the months here the amount of snapshots is actually indicated by the size of the green circle. So as you can see on the 20th of June, it is the biggest sized circle out of the bunch. This means that it has the most snapshots on that particular day. So if I just simply hover over the circle here, you can see on June 20th in the year 2000, there are nine snapshots and you can just simply hover over them here and then simply left click on one to select it. I'm not going to do that just yet, but I just wanted to show you what exactly those circles mean. Let's hover over June 19th here just to show you that there are indeed less snapshots in June 19th than on June 20th. So as you can see, there are six snapshots here. And June 22nd looks like a similar size circle to June 19th. So if I just hover over June 22nd here, you can see there are also six snapshots, hence why the size of June 22nd is the same as June 19th. Okay, so now that I've explained what the circles mean around the dates, let's actually go ahead and view a snapshot 
for one of these days in June. So I'm going to be selecting June 20th here from the year 2000. And as you can see, I have nine snapshots to choose from. Now, each of these bullet points here is indicated by the time that each snapshot was taken on that particular date. So I'm just now going to select one of these times and view the snapshot on that time. So I'm just going to take 428 p.m. So I'm just going to left click on it and the Wayback Machine should do its magic and bring up how Amazon.com looked like at that particular time and on that particular date. And there we go, guys. So on June 20th, on the year 2000, at 4.28 p.m., this is how Amazon.com looked like exactly on this day. I think the Wayback Machine is such an interesting tool because of this feature. And if I just scroll down here, I'll just give you a feel of how Amazon.com looked like on this particular time and date. So as you can see, it was quite simple back in the day and there weren't many products. You just had a few categories, not compared to the amount of categories that we have today. And some of these links, guys, do actually work. So if I left click on books here, I'll be able to browse the books category. Unfortunately, on this occasion, a snapshot for the books category hasn't actually been captured for this particular date and time. However, on occasions and more than often, some of the tabs do work. So I'm just going to go back here. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let